Hello, today we're going to UV texture map a Pocky box. So let's get started. We're going to first start off with a simple cube. And we're going to go to edit mode to scale it to fit our box shape. So hitting tab, go to edit mode. Now we're going to scale it, so hit S, X. going to shrink it like so. Then we're going to hit X, S again, Z. We're going to stretch it out uh, like that. So this is going to be the general shape of our Pocky box. All right, we're going to make a new window by dragging this part right here out. And then the left hand window, we're going to change it to UV image editor. And in our right hand box, we're going to control E, mark seams, and then we're going to go to mesh, UV, unwrap. So our UV map is now showing in our left hand box right here. Then we're going to go to image, open. We're, I'm going to open my picture, which I'll have linked in the description box, so you guys can try it at home. So we have this Pocky box. Alright, so now we're gonna scale the UV map to fit the image. Before that, I'm gonna change this so it's textured, so we can see what we're doing. Let's see. So we can scale this down. Same thing as edit mode, just hit S and then G for grab so you can move the UV image. Just like that. So we're, well, I'm going to continue to mess around with the map until it fits my image, mostly. So stubborn. So now the only part I really need to fix is this little area right here. So I can do it individually. Just right click on the vertices and click shift for multiple selections. Hit G, move it over.
So let's check it out. So this is our hockey box. Make sure there's no white space showing up. Here's the bottom. Top. Gotta fix the top part, it looks like. Alright, so if we render this now in Blender, it's not going to show up because this is not a texture. So we're going to add it as a new texture. We're going to go to texture right here. Add new texture. Change this part to image or movie. And then we're going to go here to the image subsection, add the image in. It's going to show up here and under mapping, right here, coordinates, change it to UV. So now that when we render it, this is what it's going to look like. So that'll be all. I hope you guys have a good one.